has a number of festivals and celebrations, most of which are either religious or cultural in origin. Almost every month of the year, tourists and locals alike immerse themselves in one celebration or another, thanks to the diverse cultural practices we have here. So, here's our list of the top 5 festivals celebrated by Malaysians. In number 5, we have Kaamatan. It's a harvest festival celebrated annually in the state of Sabah in Malaysia. It's normally celebrated by the ethnic Katazan Dusuns as well as other related ethnic groups in the state. It lasts for a whole month of May, ending with a public holiday on a date selected by the priestess known as the Bobohizan. A beauty pageant known as Unduk Ngada will be held and it ends the harvest festival. A popular drink during the festival is tapai which is a traditional alcoholic drink. Tapai is drunk from a small bamboo vessel or special glasses which are also made from bamboo. Traditional dances such as Sumazao, Sumirit, and Magunatip are performed during this festival. Next up, we have Gawai Dayak. It is celebrated by the Dayak which generally refers to the Iban, Bidayo, and Orang Ulu communities in Sarawak. During this festival, the elders perform traditional rites, everyone dresses in their traditional costumes, and there's food and drinks such as rice wine, which is known as tuak, generously served along every longhouse. Widespread celebrations are not held only in the main cities and towns, but also in the interior settlements. This harvest festival gives thanks to the gods for the bounty of the land. With centuries of tradition behind it, this native ritual involves communication with the spirit world, ancestral worship, and feasting with family and friends of the whole community. It is celebrated mid-year on June 1st and 2nd, though unofficially, the festivals begin during the last week of May and continue through mid-June. Usually, the people of many longhouses harvest their rice fields well before the big day and have their own small-scale gawai feast at the end of their harvest. In Kuching, celebrations start a week before with colorful street parades and cultural activities. On the eve of Gawai, a grand state dinner is held at the civic center with singing, dancing, and a beauty pageant which determines the crowning of several Gawai queens, one for each community. Obviously, Gawai Dak is the best and most interesting time to visit Sarawak as you can see and sample the lifestyle and its festivities. All visitors are warmly received and accepted as new friends even if they happen to be strangers. Coming up in number 3, we have Deepa Valley. Deepa Valley in Malaysia is celebrated by the local Hindu community. Also known as Diwali or Festival of Lights, the religious event falls on the day before the new moon according to the lunar calendar. As with most festivals in Malaysia, Deepa Valley is a day for people of all races and religions getting together with lively open houses, firework displays, and a wide range of Indian delicacies. About a week prior to the celebration, Hindus conduct a massive spring cleaning of their homes while lit oil lamps are placed around different areas of the house, especially on the porch or balcony. Meanwhile, Hindu temples all over Malaysia are lavishly decorated with flowers while offerings of fruits and coconut milk are placed at the altars by devotees. Some also prepare for this festival by going on a fast or a vegetarian diet. On the morning of Deepavali, many Hindus take an oil bath before heading to the temples for prayers and ceremonial rites. For the rest of the day, they usually open their houses to guests, friends, and neighbors to feast on delicious Indian food such as sweet meats, rice puddings, and muruku. Houses are decorated with colored paper lanterns and kolam this time of the year. Kolam refers to intricate temporary floor designs made from dyed rice and colorful powders. Kolam takes much practice to perfect, and you'll definitely appreciate the ones you see inside shopping malls and other public places. If possible, try to get invited into a Hindu house to view the beautiful kolam patterns. Since Deepa Valley is a time for open houses among Hindus, they will most probably invite you before you can even ask. In number 2, we have Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is a Chinese festival that celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional Chinese calendar. This is a time for families to come together and wish each other good fortune in the coming year and family gatherings are held on Lunar New Year's Eve. Yisang is one of the traditional dishes savored during Chinese New Year. Over the course, the salad has exploded with a variety of colors and flavors, including red and green dyed radish strips, candy orange peels, and even the use of salmon. 
The popular custom is for all to gather around the dining table and toss the ingredients high in the air with joyful exclamations to wish for abundant luck and happiness for all. Other than that, a food that is a must-have delicacy during this festival is Nian Gao. Nian Gao is a food prepared from glutinous rice flour. It's believed that eating Nian Gao has symbolism of raising oneself higher in each coming year. Nian Gao is a homophone to another word that implies promotions or prosperity year after year. This association makes Nian Gao a popular gift item during the Chinese New Year period. Ang Pao or red packet filled with money are traditionally handed out by married couples to their parents, single adults, and children during the Chinese New Year celebration as a token of good fortune and blessing. It is said there is no exact amount to put in the Ang Pao because the meaning behind giving out the Ang Pao is a gesture of blessing and not a transaction. Lion dance is also synonymous with Chinese New Year celebrations as the lion symbolizes courage, determination, and resourcefulness. Therefore, lion dance performances are believed to bring good fortune. During Chinese New Year, mandarin oranges are considered traditional symbols of abundance and good fortune. During the two-week celebration, they are frequently displayed as decorations and presented as gifts to friends, relatives, and business associates. Finally, we have Hari Raya Ayrofi Tree. Also called the Festival of Breaking the Fast, it's a religious holiday celebrated by Muslims worldwide that marks the end of the month-long dawn to sunset fasting of Ramadan. This religious Eid is the first and only day in the month of Shawwal during which Muslims are not permitted to fast. Muslims wake up early to visit the mosque to thank God for the blessings they have in life. They will seek forgiveness and receive green packets of money from their elders. While dressed in their best clothes, they will pay a visit to their relatives, family, and friends to dig into traditional delicious food such as ketupat and lemang. Most Muslims in Malaysia don't expect guests to present gifts or cash. However, if a guest insists on presenting something, then sweets, cookies, and kueh are the best and will be the most appreciated by the hosts. Guests should also look out for what not to give. Black is an avoidable color, while wine, champagne, and other form of alcohol is forbidden for Muslims. Non-Muslims are not expected to be dressed in traditional Malay clothes. However, it might please your host if you made the effort. Wearing casual clothes and not wearing anything too revealing is completely acceptable. A green envelope is a Malay adaptation of the Chinese envelope custom. During this festival, Muslims in Malaysia hand out money in green envelopes to guests who visit their homes. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below on what you thought about this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to never miss an upload. Bye!